gosh. All right, I can't. <laughs> I actually can't believe I'm committed to this right now, but we are committing to the freaking calendar club. The man behind the camera is making me do it. It is a mile every single day in November, building on itself each day. So November 1st, we're doing one mile. November 2nd, two miles. November 3rd, three miles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No breaks, adding a mile every single day. The rules, you can bike, swim, or run your mileage. Here we go, it's starting soon. All right, November 2nd. Baby, it is calendar club day five. Oh yeah, this is day, day 10 of the calendar club, baby. Oh my goodness, it is day 15. Wow, rubber bands around the ankles, baby. That's the freaking trick. That's how you know you've made it. All right, Woo! day 14. Just getting into it right now. Hit mile, hit day 15. 15 miles in a day. Tomorrow it just gets harder and harder and harder. So, it is going great so far. Got very lucky. Um, yesterday I had a pretty terrible crash on my road bike. Um, it has just been pouring down rain the last three days. We got that morning fog going on. Um, start of the calendar challenge. This is only day two, right? So, two miles in. I love it right now because it's easy. You know, you wake up first thing, just get them done. But I just know by that, by next week, we're hitting mile seven, hitting mile eight, nine, like, and then that third week and the fourth week, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a grind. So it'll be cool to evolve through this challenge and yeah, really have to schedule in the times to get the mileage in. And since it is like winter time right now, you know the weather is just gonna, just gonna shit on us at some point. Oh, and it's raining. Maybe I'll see a little sun sunrise. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but, woo, <laughs> dude, that is that is cold. Um, I'm gonna throw some gloves on. Put the headphones in. Bump some gangster rap. Take care of business. That's how it's done. Just got done with a 2100 meter swim. Felt amazing. We're at the aquatic center right now. Woo, this is day. Uh, Day 14 of the Calendar Club Challenge. This is early, no this is November 10th right here. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. Damn, that's stoked. <laughs> Woo! So, yeah, this dude right here started me skiing Baker when I was about two years old. So we spent, <laughs> spent quite a bit of my life. Three years? Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah when three I was three? Three. Yeah, I was in your pack when I was two. Still looking at the snow. <laughs> dude, dude. Check it, check it. We completed every single day of the calendar club challenge and uh, I learned a ton some of some of the big takeaways that I had that I'm gonna try to keep flowing through my daily life are number one just scheduling your day to the max so with the calendar club as the mileage builds you're having to really figure out okay where am I gonna fit these miles in where am I gonna fit you know, all the daily work tasks of running a business that I have in. Um, when am I gonna fit my other strength training in and my other Ironman training in? When am I, when am I gonna fit family time in with my wife um, and all the other, you know, Thanksgiving, all the events that are happening through November. And so for me, it was a blessing to be able to do Calendar Club because I feel like it made me just get my life in order and it increased my productivity level insanely. Like I was so much more productive during the days, especially as the mileage actually built. Um, and one of the reasons why is because I ended up waking up pretty damn early, a lot earlier than I usually wake up to start my miles towards the end of the challenge. And 
What's cool is that's been my goal to take away from the challenge is to continue waking up at 5 a.m. and starting my day with some sort of cardio. It could be two miles, it could be four miles, it could be 10 miles. The amount of cardio that I'm gonna be doing in the morning is probably gonna change, but the time I'm waking up and the time I'm gonna do cardio is not gonna change. Some of the benefits, the main benefit that I feel like I got from that morning cardio is just being able to relax and go through what do I want, what I want to accomplish with my day and the big tasks that I want to handle throughout the day. It's a, it's a, early in the morning is a time where there's no distractions, nobody else is up texting me, nobody's calling me, and it allows me to clear my mind and really really decide and put into focus what I want my day and my week to look like. So that was, that was amazing. Oh yeah, some of the big, big challenges that, that happened during Calendar Club is we had goddamn tsunami rain in Bellingham. Like, dude, we had the, the worst flooding in the history of like Washington State basically. Like, it was torrential rainfall um, two towns by the Canadian border are like destroyed right now. Like there's not a town there anymore, which is super sad because there's so much rain, the rivers overflowed. So me and Nathan, we, we had to get out in this torrential rainfall and do our miles no matter what. Um, some of those days got pretty sketchy, especially when we were biking. I had an awesome bike accident where I'm extremely lucky I didn't break anything. Um, I was going around a corner, going like 25, it was early in the morning, and I was just all amped up on adrenaline. I was like, we're taking this corner, like Fast and Furious style, and we drifted it, tires came out, boom, right on the concrete, slid into the next lane. Luckily, there's no cars coming, but there was a car behind me, and my self-esteem went down here. It was, it was it's still down here. Um, it's come back a little bit, we're still trying to get it back up. But that was, that was the main challenge is that guy had to watch me pick my ass up off the concrete and just limp my bike over to the sidewalk. And you know, you just want him to drive by and then he rolls down the window and asks if you're okay. And you're like, bro, just keep, just, yeah, I'm good. Just keep going, just don't look at me. Um, so that was, that was a fun one. Most people I think would have used that as an excuse to take a day off the next day or to you know, say like, oh, I'm too hurt to continue on my miles, but it's all about overcoming those obstacles and those things that happen that you have no control over um, and continuing to grind and figure out a way to get the miles in. You know, just like in life, if like shit's gonna hit the fan, you're gonna wipe out, somebody in your family is gonna wipe out, car accidents, whatever, but if you're serious about your goals, you're gonna keep going no matter what. So yeah, my leg is still bruised, it's still healing. You'll see a picture of that, but we kept going. And that's what conquering your goals, conquering your obstacles is about right there. Um, another good memory is just running some miles with Nathan at like 9 p.m. at night after we got done filming one night. We both had some miles to do. It was during like the torrential downpour days and we just took the shirts off, man, and we just got out there and finished our miles at like 10 p.m. So just doing it with somebody else, doing it with a homie and texting each other, going through the challenge every day, giving each other inspiration, knowing that somebody else is putting in the same amount of work that you are really helps out on accomplishing that goal because you know they're suffering just as much as you are, if not more. He's probably suffering more actually. So consistency where you're doing and you're committed to a task every single day, I think is the, the best way to ingrain a certain habit into your lifestyle. And I've seen this with a ton of different challenges and different things that I've done um, throughout the years. So I like to do these things every month, if not every few months, just because you can apply it to any anything in your life that you want to improve, okay? It could be, you know, hey, I want, to, I want to be more successful at my business or I want to start a business, so I need to make 100 phone calls, 100 cold phone calls every single day, no matter what, for the next 30 days and prospect for things, prospect for people, prospect for deals. So sticking to something every single day and just committing to that one thing 
it doesn't matter what you apply that to in your life, but you're gonna see dramatic results at the very end of it. And so doing these little challenges where you're committing and you're building on every single day, it, it gives you immense confidence in yourself. It, it shows you that you're able to keep the little promises that you make to yourself, which builds your confidence even higher because when you keep those promises, you believe in yourself and that's what's gonna help you accomplish anything you want to. When you break those promises and you don't do the things you say you're gonna do, you don't follow through with your commitments, that's when you're not gonna believe, yourself, believe in yourself anymore. That's when that little voice inside your head comes in and tells you that you know, you're not good enough or you're not gonna be able to do something um, or that you're not actually gonna be able to follow through with it because you haven't in the past. So the more you can stick to your little commitments, those little micro commitments you make, man, like the more you're gonna be able to accomplish and the easier those things are gonna get. I think this is a great transition now into going full in to committing to Ironman training because you know, basically all three training modalities were in there, running, biking, swimming. As the miles got longer, I just decided to not swim at all and just, just run and bike. But like the legs are feeling freaking strong. I healed, I healed my knee, like my knee is like 95, 99% right now. So going into this challenge, I was scared that I wasn't gonna be able to run at all and I was gonna have to do all the miles on the bike because I had bursitis in this knee from a 50K race I got done right before this challenge. But it's shown me that if you train smart, you listen to your body, you, it made me, actually do a bunch of rehab stuff that I don't like doing. And by doing this challenge and by committing to it and having to do the boring work and having to do the stuff, the rehab type stuff I don't like to do, like, this, like the stretching, um, the TENS unit, all the boring work, my knee is better and I'm going into Ironman training feeling really freaking good that we're gonna dominate this training. So. I'm stoked because that's the next level. That's the next step right here. Going into Ironman training hard and we're, we're gonna be planning that out this week.